So, Bismillah, that's what we Muslims are supposed to be behaving like. If a person speaks to us in a racially sort of, you know, um, bad way or, or something that is racially sort of, you know, motivated, and they, they, they talk to us in a, in a bad way, um, very bad language, what we need to do is to control our emotions and our anger. We need to be um, emotionally aware, yeah? Um, and, 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 and must not respond the same way because if we do the same, respond the same way, okay, then there's no difference between the person and ourselves. And that's what, like I said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said um, that the true servants of Rahman the true servants of Rahman are the ones who walk on the ground, okay, in the earth, in a humble way, in a nice manner, in a very beautiful way, not, um, not sort of, you know, um, bothering themselves with, with others. Um, but rather they, they, they keep themselves to themselves. And even if they interact some racial, like I said, you know, um, slogans or, or, or things from others that they call them different mockingly and, uh, and, and, and those kind of, you know, names, they say, Qalu salama. Allah says they are ignorant. If they say something bad, it clearly means that they're ignorant but the servants of rahman and remember allah mentions his quality of rahman here not the servants of allah he says they are the servants of allah but allah says that they are the servants of rahman which means the servants of the most merciful which means that these people will have mercy for others so if and when remember others okay say something bad they should uh, empathize with them because they should and must have mercy for those people they should feel mercy for them that these are the people who are ignorant these are the people who are uneducated these are the people who are uncivilized these are the people who are ill uh, you know sort of educated and, and informed yeah and so i must not respond the same way so this is very important that when we speak, um, we say good words. Yeah, because whatever we say, remember, comes out of us. So if we have good thought, okay, good thinking about others, then we'll speak good about them as well, even if they are bad towards us. This is the sunnah of our beloved sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, our prophet, peace be upon him, that people have been so nasty to him physically as well as verbally and, and many other ways, but he's never responded in a bad way. And you know what happened eventually? SubhanAllah, he won them over. He won them over. You don't want tension. You don't want people to be, you know, uh, uh, um, perpetuating the situation um, that they are in, like a bad situation and living in there for uh, ever. But if you want to change them, and we must try to change people from the worst to the better and, and, and good, then we should respond a nice way. We should smile, or at least we should keep quiet. Yeah, so road rage can aggravate and sort of, you know, um, make you um, agitated and, and respond in a, in a bad way, which could easily cause an accident. Uh, uh, that's one of the very common things that happen to people. So don't do anything, just avoid. And because when you get angry or you uh, react to a uh, sort of, you know, uh, a difficult situation, then it, it comes back to you. Yeah. And you are sort of, you know, um, in a difficult situation mentally. Why bother? Life is too short, they say, to taste a bad coffee. Remember, life is too short to taste a bad coffee. Always try to go for the, the, the best coffee. Yeah, say good words, react in a nice way. And we need to understand, okay, um, the fact that um, we need to use, we, we're responsible for our own actions. And inshallah, 
in, in responding um, in a nice way, we will definitely change other people uh, to, to the better, um, you know, uh, and, and, and that's something that Allah is going to reward us uh, for that. So again, uh, we need to realize that tongue does not have any bone, yeah? There's no bone in a tongue, does it? And there's no bone in your heart. So what does that mean? Well, it means that you need to be soft spoken. Yeah. Just as your tongue is soft, we need to also um, be soft spoken. Secondly, the tongue has taste buds. So like they say, taste your words before you utter them, before you spit them out, taste them. If they are bitter, don't say it. Always smile always respond in a good way wallahi and i swear by allah i promise you if somebody is being bad to you once twice thrice and you do not respond the same way you do not get reactionary they will change they will be as cool as cucumber next time they will be put to shame subhanallah they will be so embarrassed yeah and that's how inshallah you do and if obviously we, we understand different situations we need to report some of the things to teachers, some of the things to the parents. Uh, if there's a real sort of, you know, uh, uh, danger, physical, mental, uh, psychological, or anyway, uh, other than that, every now and then things happen, but we don't want to respond in a bad way. May Allah give us understanding.